Hello. The first experiment you will do in this lab is density of solids. Here we will learn what is the density and how to measure the density of different objects. So density is a physical property that characterizes the substance. The equation that we use to calculate the density is given here, rho is equal m divided by v. This equation tells us how much mass we have per unit volume of certain substance. The units for density are kilogram per meter cubed. But in this lab, because densities are so small as well as volumes, we can use that units for density are grams per centimeter cubed. During this experiment, we will calculate the uh, densities of two different objects. They are cylinder and block. First, we will calculate the volumes by measuring the dimensions of cylinder and the block. Once you have dimensions, you can calculate the volume of the block by multiplying length, width, and height or thickness of the block. Whereas to calculate the volume of the cylinder, we are going to use this equation. Volume of the cylinder is given by P times R squared times L, where R is the radius of the cylinder and L is the length of the cylinder. On the last part of this experiment, you will learn how to calculate the density of the composite object on the example of calculating the density of the composite cylinder. Composite cylinder is a cylinder that's made from two different materials. In this case, we have a shell that's made from one material, the silver part, and we have this inside rod, the yellow part here, that is made from different material. So the total mass of this composite cylinder is given by the mass of the rod, inside part, plus the mass of the outside part, mass of the shell. The volume of the total object, composite cylinder in this case, is the volume of the rod plus volume of the outside part, shell. And then finally, to calculate the density of this composite object, we will simply divide mass of the composite object with the volume of the composite object. It is important that you remember that the density of composite object is never going to be a density of the inside part plus density of the outside part. Now you're ready to proceed with your calculations in your laboratory manual. I would like to point out here the order in which you will fill out a table to calculate the density of the composite object. So you will be given the material from which the outside part or the shell is made. This can be found on the information sheet provided on your station. Each composite cylinder has different number marking. You will find the marking on your cylinder and then look at the information table provided on your station and identify the material from which shell is made. Then you will record the density for that material. Furthermore, on your information sheet, you will find the radius of the inner rod. It is given to be 3 16th of the inch. You will need to convert this value to uh, centimeters. Then the diameter of the inner rod is simply multiplying radius by 2. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure the mass of the cylinder using the balance provided in your lab. Then you're going to use vernier caliber and measure the diameter of the cylinder. And furthermore, you're going to measure the length of the cylinder. Now you're ready to complete the table. You have the diameter. Dividing diameter by two will give you the radius of the cylinder. You already measured the length of the cylinder. The length of the cylinder and length of the rod and shell are all three same. So now you have the radius and the length for the whole cylinder. You can calculate the volume. Also, you have given radius and length for the rod. You can calculate the volume of the rod. And knowing that the volume of the whole cylinder is the volume of the rod plus volume of the shell, you can calculate the volume of the shell. Now, when you have the volume of the shell calculated, you can calculate the mass of the shell simply by using the equation for the density because the density of the shell material is given. You know the total mass of the cylinder. 
you measure this using the electronic balance and you know the mass of the shell, now you can calculate the mass of the rod, knowing that the mass of the shell plus mass of the rod gives you the mass of the cylinder. Now, finally, you have the volume and mass for the material that's rod made from, and then you can calculate the density for this material, and using your information sheet on your station, you can identify which material this is. Finally, you can calculate the density of the composite cylinder simply by using the equation for density. It's going to be mass of the composite cylinder divided by the volume of the composite cylinder. It is important here to show all your calculations on a space provided in your laboratory manual and also to include all the units for every measurement that you did or the calculations that you did. There will be a video following this one with the actual experimental procedure for this experiment. This is all for this week. Thank you.